In this video, we will learn how to build resiliency and mental toughness using the wisdom of Stoic philosophy. In particular, we will dive into three essential techniques to develop resiliency. These techniques help the Stoics navigate life's downturn with courage and equanimity. So let's get right into it. Now the first technique is to expect the unexpected. Now the Stoics believe that we suffer because we are unprepared for life's downturns and have unrealistic expectations of the world. They were taught to ask themselves daily, what's the worst that can happen today? Their ability to visualize negative outcomes in small daily doses enabled them to tackle catastrophes with a sense of preparedness. This readiness to tackle whatever life throws is the key to building resiliency. By accepting that life is not supposed to be easy and we have to face our fears head on, we can build our mental strength and expect the unexpected. As the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius put it, this is not a misfortune, but rather to bear this nobly is good fortune. So that's the first practice. Now practice number two is Amor Fati. Now Amor Fati is a Latin phrase that translates to a love of fate. At its core, Amor Fati is a form of loving acceptance, acceptance for whatever life gives us, and for making the best out of any circumstances, no matter how challenging. By accepting our fate, we are creating a sense of resilience in us. We are not upset, frustrated, or swayed easily by whatever life throws at us. We understand that everything happens for a reason, and we can change our perspective from one of suffering to one of growth. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus put it, do not seek for things to happen the way you want them to. Rather, wish that what happens to happen the way it happens, then you will be happy. So that is practice number two. And now practice number three is choose how you respond. Now, whether we like it or not, life will throw obstacles our way. When this inevitably happens, the Stoics tell us we have two choices. The first is to crawl under a blanket and wallow in self-pity. Or the second, which is to respond to our obstacles with courage, calmness, and wisdom. It goes without saying which of the two choices the Stoics recommend we take. The Stoics teach us that stepping into the gap between stimulus and response is the secret to building mental toughness and resilience. If we can successfully and consciously take a moment to choose how we respond to an obstacle, we can grow as people. The problem is that most people just run on autopilot and curse the world for all of their problems. Once again, as Epictetus put it, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. So there you have it then. That is how you build resiliency and mental toughness using the teachings of Stoic philosophy. I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like it and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in more Stoicism or philosophy content in general, then consider subscribing. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.